In the following example, I'm going to completely go overboard, by the way, with an initial sample to illustrate what some companies and writers might have to deal with. This is my own invented content. It's horrible. This is truly evil stuff. So take a moment and try to read the last set of content on the slide. It's tough. As you're reading that, or trying to read it, let me mention that DITA may implement a change in the way that you're writing. And in many cases, you're going to have to clean up legacy content if it has to be migrated. If you're starting fresh, or you have simple content to bring in, this can be easy. If, however, you've got the sample content seen here, you're in for a pretty major job of rewriting. The content we see here isn't easy to read. The eye jumps around, you stop focusing on it after a bit, and if you try to follow it, you likely end up lost or insane. So, some sort of initial reorganization might be needed. Before it even goes to DITA, you can do a lot to improve the message. This is the same content, but I've reworked it. It may not be your ideal, but it's at least a starting point to get it cleaner. I've got a clear title and a short introductory statement. I've identified the prerequisite, and the tasks have been broken out. In the future, if I move this to DITA, I can add links to other topics using something called a DITA map or a relationship table to manage the links and the relationships between them. So I'm not going to put any links right into the file. Instead, I just want to make the message simple, easy to read and easy to work with. This can also be converted to DITA without really losing any of the message. In DITA, the text is still there. Sure, I've got the markup, but it's behind the scenes, so ignore it. The core message, the title, the short description, and so on, it's all here. The code's available if I need it. The structure is there. Note that on the first line, I have open a file, and I have the short description right after it. Now let's look at the code. With the code, the tags show that there's a start and end to the content. Tags like title open and title close on the first line. The same with the short description. The entire task begins at the very top on the left, and you can see at the bottom, it has slash task to close it. All the contents there, but the code is going to serve another function. It allows tools that are configured for DITA to work with the content in the code to make the writer's job easier. You get a consistent message written in a format that becomes familiar to the reader. Software does more than that. It makes the writer's job simpler, or at least it should. That's what differentiates good tools from bad ones. I mean, I could use a rock to drive in a nail, but if I'd have to do it all day, I'd rather get a hammer. Or even better, a compressed air gun. What's the right tool? Well, it depends. Are you driving in nails? Or are you using a screw to combine things? Or do you need to use glue or staples, tape or a paper clip to attach stuff to each other? In any case, you likely want the right tool. And DITA gives you this as well. Consider what we saw in the last two slides. You can open it up in XMetal and see a default view that hides the tags and makes the content clean and easy to read. If you prefer, you can also show the tags and see the markup. This is all still in XMetal. However, maybe XMetal isn't your first choice. Maybe you want to see the content in another tool. Well, so be it. Want to see it in Oxygen? Go for it. You can use the grid view to see the content. This gives you a pretty good idea of the elements as they're contained within each other. If you think the tags are rather nice to see, though, well, then Oxygen supports it. Actually, Oxygen has a bunch of views that you can view DITA in. It's just another tool for working with this type of content. So is FrameMaker 7.2, but only if you use the plugin that DITA FMX provides. This adds support for DITA into Frame 7.2, and you're going to see more about the DITA support that DITA FMX gives in a few minutes. If you've got a newer version, you can also open DITA with Frame 8 or 9. Uh, note, by the way, that FrameMaker has tags on here, whereas in the FrameMaker 8 view that I'm showing, we see a more limited set of markup. You could show either in frame 7, 2, or 8, or 9. I'm just showing different views and different screenshots here. Here the view is set up to show more tools that we can use when working with DITA. And this is where I'm going to take you in just a few minutes. Knowing what the right tool is becomes important. Early on, you need to figure out if you can use the software you already know and love. Even if you can't, there might be workflow changes, template changes, or even interface changes that you need to plan for before you look at other tools. Ideally, your current tool works, and all you need to do is look at the workflow, the templates, and so on to figure out how to move forward. If the tool works, explore what you can do. Talk to other users. Figure out what works for them and what leaves them wishing. There might be third-party tools like DidFMX that can help you with legacy software tools, such as Frame 7, 2, or 8, to help bridge some of the gaps. 
if you can't use the current tools or the companies just don't do the trick for you anymore or third party solution doesn't work maybe you need to make changes figure out the tools that you have and then figure out the ones you like have the vendors do demos go to STC conferences go to events talk to users visit the booths figure out what you like and what the support is from the vendor the partner and even third parties talk to the users participate in forums attend events like this one once you know what you like figure out the costs and make a business case remember you're gonna need more than just the software there's the cost to get trained there's also going to be cost for ongoing maintenance any time you lose is gone and that's time you have to plan for you're going to have to learn and practice the cost to convert legacy content and to change your writing style and templates a tool change is a big undertaking but it's just a tool changing a car just means resetting radio stations learning where the cup holders are and figuring out which side the gas tank is accessed from it's not life-changing neither is getting new software finding something that meets your needs the budget and your goals that's what you want to do and then move on